Hello, my name's James Pikeway, and welcome to Catching Up, a podcast short with Maha al Kalhawi. You're, you're a children's book writer and illustrator as well. Like, you've written a children's book, and this is a, a piece of your passion. How does that fit into the, how you define yourself and how people see you? People are multifaceted, right? Yeah. Every, and, I, and, and again, I, we, don't want to, we don't want to say that, right? It's like, well, it can't be multifaceted. You are the writer, you are the designer, you are the innovator. I you think are... at this point, everyone is multifaceted. <laughs> Renaissance men and women, you know, we used to think they're only in the Renaissance, but in real life, we're still all Renaissance people. And everybody has, uh, there's a really good book called uh, Culture and Identity. Okay. And it talks about this from a, from how political rhetoric uses putting people in boxes with one label as a way to divide people, right? But it applies to everything, really. If you're conscious of looking at people and thinking, you know, this person has so much beyond what I can see yeah. that I will maybe never know about, right? But so for my books, it was really like I call them my pandemic babies. It was a passion project. <laughs> okay. <laughs> people so... had real kids. I had three books, <laughs> triplets. <laughs> and... Um, I think it was something in me that I always wanted to do. Uh, it was, I don't think it was ever for the case of having a career as an author. Um, it was more just like, I love the whimsical nature of children's books. Okay. And especially the ones that pass on something really meaningful in them. And thankfully there's a rise in that with, when it comes to Arabic books. But here's the thing, my books are all in Arabic. And the reason why I did that was because even though there's a rise in Arabic children's book content, it's still very limited compared to what you see in other languages. And Arabic speakers are a huge chunk of the world. It's not a, it's not a inconsiderable number. So this disparity, um, I find a bit sad but also again when you look around kids are having a much harder time than my generation did in speaking not only speaking arabic but also learning arabic when it comes to you know fusha which is classical arabic and whatever dialect their family will speak <laughs> <laughs>